I spoke with Governor Cuomo yesterday, and he pledged his full support for a smooth transition. And I thanked him for his service to our state. Regarding his decision to step down, I believe it is appropriate and in the best interest of the state of New York. And while it was not expected, it is a day for which I am prepared. I've already spoken with Senate Majority Leader Andre Stewart Cousins, Speaker Carl Heasty, labor, business, faith leaders, other state elected officials, as well as our tri-state governors. I look forward to working with each and every one of them and all of you to build on the progress that we've already started. Over the next two weeks, I will continue meetings with current and potential cabinet officials. I'll build out my senior staff, and I'll do what I've always done. I will travel the state to meet New Yorkers, to listen to them, to assure them that I've got their backs. And I will take their concerns and bring them back to our state capitol and work with our partners in every level of government to come to solutions. People will soon learn that my style is to listen first, then take decisive action. So in 13 days, I will officially become the 57th governor of the state of New York. And shortly thereafter, I look forward to delivering an address to all New Yorkers to lay out my vision for the great state of New York. If Paul is convicted of any criminal charges, would you consider pardoning him? I'm going to tell you right now, I'm talking about my vision for the state of New York. It is far too premature to even have those conversations. Um, in the report, the AG's report, several members of the governor's staff were implicated in trying to discredit the women that accused him of sexual harassment. Are you planning on keeping any of them around? Is it fair to say that those will be gone? No one has named who is named as anything, doing anything unethical in the report will remain in my administration. The word toxic has been used to describe the work environment in the executive chamber, so to follow up on what's been asked, uh, do you agree or take issue with that term being used to describe it, and to what extent, given that fact, uh, do you see the need to cast turnover? Well, there'll be turnover. There'll be turnover, and that is the description from many witnesses in the Attorney General's report. I think it's very clear that the governor and I have not been close, um, physically or otherwise, in terms of uh, much time. And so I've been traveling the state and do not spend much time uh, in his presence or in the presence of many in the state capitol. But that is what has been re being reported. And I'm going to stand right here. At the end of my term, whenever it ends, no one will ever describe my administration as a toxic work environment.